Hey guys, Doc. So I've gotten a lot of requests about information on my Blink camera systems because I have so many of them. So I'm gonna do a video, but my video is gonna be different than most of the videos you're gonna watch on Blinks, and I'll explain why, so hold on. Okay, Doc, so why is your video different? Pretty simple. I am one of the only people in the world that has purchased five Blink security systems whole systems. I have purchased them myself. Number one, I don't take any free product. Blink has never given me anything. I have purchased five Blink security systems. All toll, I probably have close to 30 cameras on those systems. I have used Blink systems for now it's coming up on what, almost over three years? So pretty good testimonial and hopefully good information for you guys. Okay, first, in the description below, I'm gonna put one link so I can keep it updated. That link will take you over to a page on our website. And on that page, I'm gonna put a link to the group, to the system sales, to the system page on the Blink cameras. Why is that? It's because they sell the systems. You can get a one camera, two camera, all the way up to eight camera system, and you need to choose how many cameras you want under your system. And I recommend that you buy more than you think. Why is that? It's because if you go and buy an actual add-on camera, they can run anywhere from like 60 to 80 bucks, but when you get them inside the group package, it's almost half price. So you're better off to get more cameras, and trust me, you'll, at some point, you'll say, man, I wish I had a view of this instead of this. Trust me, I got enough cameras I know. So I'll put a link to that. The other thing I'm gonna put a link to, I have in the past recommended these silicone covers, which I really like. The camera just slides into it. This time I figured I'd go ahead and try the hard camera. It's a hard camera. And the reason why I'm trying this is because it has a little bit more of a canopy on the top for rain. Uh, sometimes if you have a big windstorm and rain, your camera can get a few raindrops on it. This one has a little bit longer hood on the top. So I figured I'd try it. So I want to put a link to both of those. Uh, either one is good. The only problem with the hard ones is that the hard covers, they have small Phillips screw that you screw it together inside the camera. The silicone actually just pops right in. Silicone's a little bit easier to deal with, but either one works fine. And I'll explain why I'm going to put a link to those. So yes, I have five systems. I have purchased five systems. One of the systems I will say that I gave to my daughter as a present. It's a good time to do it, Christmas. These make great Christmas presents. So I gave one when my daughter and son-in-law bought their house, I gave them a Blink system and they have it installed. They have uh, three or four cameras all around the house. She also is using it for a baby monitor. So she bought an indoor version and is actually using it as sort of a baby monitor as well too. I thought that was a good idea. Now the link I'm gonna go to is I buy all outdoors, Blink Outdoors. So it's the Blink Outdoor camera is what you want. Um, I've been using those now. I originally, I, my first system wasn't the outdoor, it was the original one. I just like the outdoors better. I have a system at the beach house. And what's nice about the system at the beach house is we did a complete renovation while we weren't there and I was able to watch the entire renovation anytime I wanted to. That's the fantastic thing about this. I've got one on our home here and then our new farm property, which is having a full renovation done on it, which we'll move into probably sometime in January. I have cameras all the way around and I'm able to pull it up at all times. I'm able to see what contractors arrive. I'm able to pull up and look at the progress. It's so nice. It really is nice and such a peace of mind. You know, if anyone comes onto your property, you know it. So where's the other one? Oh, the other system is at the shop, at our manufacturing shop. We have a system over there with three cameras over there as well too. So I've got, uh, I've got lots of experience with it. Let's talk unboxing. I hate unboxing videos. There's nothing worse than watching an unboxing video for half an hour when you can do it in probably 60 seconds. Let's unbox it. <laughs> so when you get it, it just depends on the number of cameras you're gonna get, but you're gonna get the main controller unit. This is what a main controller unit looks like. This is the brains of the operation. The next thing you're gonna get, you're gonna get cameras, and I call these dummy drones, and I'll explain that in just a second. So you get your cameras. It comes with lithium batteries. It comes with Energizer lithium batteries, and you have to use lithium batteries inside of it. It comes with the snap-on mounts. I'll explain why I don't like these snap-on mounts, but you can use them. And then there's a power cord. There's a plug and a power cord, which goes to your main controller. Okay, so what do these each do? 
This is the best way I know how to explain it. This is the brain of the system. This controls all of your camera. This controls and this stores all of your, all of your programming is stored right here. So this is the mastermind. We got it. So if you put a schedule in, um, if you tell the you want this camera to record for 20 seconds versus five seconds, if you want to enable motion recording, it's all stored here. It's really not stored on the cameras. The cameras are simply dummy drones. They just are dummy drones. They don't do anything. The only thing they do is they detect motion and they record and that's it. Got it? So they do nothing. So you can have as many as you want. Now you can have 10 cameras per system. So per brain center, you can have up to 10 cameras. That is a common question I get. How many cameras can you get? 10. How many users can use the app? That's another question I get. Uh, you can share the app. As long as someone has your username and password, they can log in and they can look at the system. My wife has it, and sometimes I'll give it to my son, like if he wants to look down at the beach house or something, um, I'll give it to my son. So yes, you can have multiple people use the app and they can all log in and see it. Uh, first of all, on the cameras, there's a little rubber thing on the back. Take that off, throw it away. And then this is what I don't like about their system, but you can use them. This is a little, this is what you screw into the wall. And then this, in some manner or fashion, snaps into it, okay? And that's, so that's the mounting system. It works okay. If you wanna use that, use that. If you wanna start with this, start with that. What I use is I use the, I like the silicone covers or the hard case covers. Um, they are a little bit longer peg and you get a little bit more flexibility and you can have an arm that sticks out and look around corners and different angles. So again, if you wanna use these mounts that come with it, otherwise use the hard or the silicone covers. Either one, I like them both about the same. Battery life, let's talk battery life. It, it never fails. I always get some people that say, I had a blank camera and the batteries only lasted two weeks. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Are you pointing your camera at a highway? I have, again, about 30 cameras and I have never had a camera battery last less than two years. So I'm sure there's something going on with someone somewhere where they say it only lasted a month or two months. I've never had the batteries uh, last less than, than two years. So that is, that is true. Their claim of two years is true. Night recording is pretty good. You can control, it has an IR. So it has an IR light, it shoots out light and it does night recording and you can adjust the intensity of that IR, that infrared light, you can adjust the intensity. And I'll go over some of that in the settings. I'm gonna go over some important uh, settings for you guys too. So that's the unboxing of it. Uh, that's my story of my blinks. I use them everywhere. So setup is really easy. All you do, so all you do is you just install the Blink app on your phone. And once you do that, you create a username and an account. And um, then what you're gonna do, as I'll probably try and show you on this, there's a little plus sign there. When you hit the plus sign, it's gonna say to you, do you wanna add a system or do you wanna add a camera? If you add a camera, all you do, so you're gonna have a QR code. See that QR code? If you're adding a system, it would ask you to plug this in and scan that QR code. Same thing, when you open up your camera, inside the camera, there's a QR code. You scan the QR code. It updates automatically. It goes through an update process and it adds it to your system. You're pretty much done and you're gonna be live. It really is that simple. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm gonna hold this up and show it to you anyways. So here is, this is the farm and you can see all the cameras I have at the farm. So right now I have construction crews out there and I'll pull up a live view in a minute. But here is the beach house. So here are the cameras that I have active and live at the beach house. Here is the front system that I have at the house. And then I have the regular home system. The regular home system. I have one on the driveway. I have one on the back deck. I have one inside the garage. I have one outside. So you can see I have a lot of cameras. I have a lot of systems and I use them. So now I'm talking over a blower here. Let me open up real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull up so I'm at the house right now. I was at the farm property this morning, but I wanna see what progress that they're making on the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up. All I have to do is I have to touch live view. And my system out there is a little bit slow. It, it takes about, um, I would say probably about eight seconds for that system to pull up a live view. Normally it comes up a little bit faster. Usually within three to seven seconds, it'll come up as a live view. My farm property, the, the um, internet over there is kind of weird. 
So you can see right now, I can see what's going on over there. I can hear it, I can see it. I actually hear my contractors talking. I actually see them actually doing the work. This is a live view over there. Um, I can see that they got the windows in. I can zoom in if I want. So if I want to zoom in, I'm gonna zoom in and they're over there working. So it's really cool. This is a great system, especially if you are, if you have a remodel project going on anywhere and you're at work and you wanna check on it, if you wanna look at your dogs inside your house, great, uh, pull it up and check on the dogs inside the house. If you have a vacation property, um, let's say you have a, a second home, you wanna check on it, boom. Uh, schedules, let's talk about schedules for a minute. You can create each this is an important note. Each one of these brain centers can have one schedule. That's one of the only downfalls, the negatives that I'll say about Blink. So I can't take four of my cameras and put them on one schedule on this, and then take two cameras and put them on another schedule. I will warn you about that. So you can only have one schedule per brain center. The beach house I leave on all the time. Well, while we're there or while we're at this house, my cameras come on at 10 o'clock at night and they shut off at five in the morning. So I have it automatically set again. So when I'm getting ready to go to bed or late at night, the cameras are gonna go on all the way through the night. Every day in the morning at 5 a.m., they shut off and pretty easy to do. Okay, so I wanna give you a perspective. You can see the house down there and how far would you say that is, Ryan? Probably, it's about 100 yards. It's right at 100 yards, I know, because I put a target up. I paste it off. See this pole right here? I've got a blink camera on that pole, and that actually monitors the barn out here for me. So distance-wise, I know that question's gonna come up. Uh, my main controller is in one of those windows over there, and I'm 100 yards away, and I don't have any problem with the reception on it. So I would say, as long as you have a clear line of sight, a good 100, maybe even 150 yards, if you have a good Wi-Fi router. Okay, I'm having to talk over blowers in the background, so you have to excuse me. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the storage. A lot of people wanna know about the storage function. I recommend that you go with their uh, unlimited plan, which is, I believe it's $99 a year. If you have the unlimited plan, you can have unlimited number of systems and unlimited number of cameras. So it doesn't matter how many you have for $99 a year, it'll store all your videos on the cloud. And I think it stores them for like 30 days or something like that. There is another option if you don't wanna pay for storage. On the side of the controller, there's a little slot on the side and you can buy a micro USB card and a card reader and stick it on the side and it'll actually store your videos there and you don't have to have any cloud storage. So you have two options on the storage. You can pay for $99 a year, which I prefer, or you can actually get the little micro USB uh, storage card that goes into the side. Either way you want to do it. Now I want to go over real quickly, not super in depth, but there's a few points I want to talk about when it comes to the settings on this thing, which is real important because the default settings on this for the cameras themselves, um, I think you need to make some changes when you go in there. So I'm going to pull it up on my phone. So let's use the farm as an example. So I'm going to go to each individual camera and when I go to the camera, so let's go to the front, I'm going to tap on this little. So there's a little pancake right here. You tap on the pancake and it's gonna open up and it's gonna have all these settings inside of it. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have, uh, it'll tell you your battery is okay, the temperature, motion detection is enabled. Then you have your zones. If you touch your zones, what you're gonna be able to do on your zones is you're gonna be able to touch and say, I don't want motion there. So if you have a roadway, if you're, you're working with an area that has a roadway and you don't want to, cars are going by over here, you can actually block that out. So let's uh, cancel that. Yes. Uh, zones, re-trigger time. Re-trigger time means 10 seconds. Uh, sensitivity. I like to turn, here's the point on sensitivity. If you have a close up view, leave your sensitivity where it's set, which is about five. If you're farther away, I bump mine up to seven. It's gonna give you a warning about, you know, using too much memory or whatever, don't worry about that. Clip length. I don't know why the clip length is set to like five seconds by, by norm, that's way too short. So on all your cameras, go up and set it to 15 seconds minimum. Um, you know, someone walks by and maybe they're gonna come, 
have it increase it to 15 seconds. The next thing is it's going to say end clip early if motion stops. Turn that off. Why is that? Because if someone goes by and then they're going to come right back around, you want to continue recording. So you want to continue that recording. Uh, motion recording is enabled. Night vision. Uh, I leave it on auto, but I turn my IR intensity up to high. So your IR intensity, I put it up to high. The audio is enabled and the speaker volume, I always turn my speaker volume all the way up so I can actually talk to someone. So I can hold the talk button and I can talk to someone. Uh, and I'll tell you a story of that. Video, set all your videos to best. And it'll give you a warning saying this will use up more memory, just set it to best. Um, photo capture, take pictures a couple times a day. No, don't do that. Okay, status, LED. Um, what that is, is the cameras have a little blue light on them. And when they're recording, the blue light comes on. Well, I don't like people to know that I'm recording them, so I turn that to off. I think it is standard. It comes while recording. And let's see. So I got a, I got a motion detection just in at the front. And what is it? Oh, it's a delivery. Look at that. So I just got an Amazon delivery and I got an alert that there's a, a, a motion at the front. And there he is dropping off his package. That just happened while I was talking to you. So those are the settings that I would go in and play with. Um, is there any other setting that I would adjust? I don't think so. But you can go in and look at each camera and you, you would set it differently for each camera. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take you out to the farm and I'll walk you around the farm property and show you some of the cameras. I actually have some mounted up on trees. I have some mounted up on the house and the shed. I'll walk you around and just show you some of the cameras I have out at that new property. Okay, well, if you've been following our remodel project, the sunroom is all enclosed, the windows are going in. Don't you like those windows? I really like them. They're black on the outside, they're white on the inside. All the windows are up here. Roofing goes on next week. New siding goes on. We've got a bunch going on. But I have a camera that's sitting on one of those trees over there. I have another camera that's right on this tree. Let me show you to it. So basically, I just screwed it in just right into that tree over there. Then I'll walk you over. Basically what I wanted when I do this, we did the same thing at the beach house. We did a full surround so that we could watch all of the improvements. But this is not only for security, but at any time I can pull up cameras. You can see, I can pull up cameras to see the progress and see what they're doing on the house at any time. Um, I have a camera on the corner of that shed. I have a camera here. So I can get this side and I can also get a view of the back and then see that magnolia tree right there. There is a camera on that magnolia tree. So that shows me the back of the house and I have a camera inside the shed and then see this camera here. So we're storing a lot of like cabinets and refrigerators. We've got a whole bunch of stuff inside here. And that's why I have a camera inside the shed. So do I love my blink systems? Yes, I do. <laughs> you can tell. I freak out. Uh, someone unplugged one of my blink systems or something one time out at the farm and I was freaking out. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So uh, I completely rely on them for so much, especially during this construction phase, but also just for peace of mind and security. I know anytime there's any movement on my properties, I know because my camera's going off. Again, I'm going to link to these down below. I'll link to the cameras, the system, everything. One more tip that I'll give you, um, especially places like at the beach. At the beach house, I actually have battery backup. So I have the UPS battery backup system. I have that on my internet and I have it on my blink system. So even if the power goes out and they don't drain much at all, I mean, I'm gonna get four to six hours of coverage even if the power's out, which is really nice, especially during storms and that kind of thing. You know, after we had a tropical storm come through recently, I was able to pull up all my blink cameras, not see any damage, didn't even worry about it. Uh, that's about it. Hope that helped. Hope I covered as much as I could. Doc.